Hey y'all, welcome back to Hatchet's Hooch. I'm Hatchet. We got Matt with us. What's going on, Matt? Not much, man. Doing a little drinking. That's right. We like to do a little drink. Just a little drink. So, uh, what do we have here today, Matt? Kill Devil Rum. Kill Devil. It is made in Manio, North Carolina. So this is a, this is another one of our North Carolina distilleries. It's made on this this particular stuff is made on the Outer Banks. And he didn't say local distillery because Manio is about seven hour drive. Yeah, it's a little bit of a haul. Um, it's I guess I mean it's a it's a North Carolina distillery. You can't really say local, right? But it's it's in our state. So this is made on the Outer Banks, which if you look at a map, North Carolina, the coast here, and then we have these barrier islands that go around it. And uh, that's, you know, Oprah Cokes out there and Kill Devil Hills, which is where this is made. That's a little community on Hatteras Island, yeah. Yeah. So Kill Devil Hills is the world famous because that's where the Wright brothers made their very first flight. Yep. Uh, some Ohio boys came down here to North Carolina because they had done a uh, weather report and anywhere in America, Kill Devil Hills had the most wind. And that's where they wanted to test their airplane. So, and I've, had, I've been to that museum. It's pretty awesome. You been there? I have. It's a pretty cool with museum there. Uh, beautiful town, right on the beach, dunes and stuff. It's very cool. So, you want to read the back of it here, Matt? I sure will. It's pretty interesting. The, but this, okay, so this is Kill Devil Rum made with no North Carolina pecans and honey. The legend begins with shipwrecks along the outer banks of North Carolina and, and the barrels of rum that once landed upon our shores. In those days, rum was known as Kill Devil and... These plundered barrels were buried at the base of what became known as Kill Devil Hill, where the Wright brothers would make their historic flight. <clears throat> We're proudly bringing back this tradition through small batch locally produced rum known as Kill Devil. And it's from molasses to glasses. That's pretty cool. Now, if you say it with a certain accent, it's even better. Molasses to glasses. Um, but anyway, it's cool that uh, they used to call rum Kill Devil. That is cool. And then, you know, the town there, I guess, maybe was named after the rum, I'm guessing. So I'm, I'm imagining the uh, pirates uh, with, on their, with their ships spilling the barrels of rum and they washing up. So this is a uh, a true statement to the Caribbean rum that came out of the Bahamas. And, there you and go. All. So that's awesome, man. Now, when you think of uh, dark rum like this, I think of spiced rum. And this is far away from that. I, is, I think it's going to be quite a ways away from that. Pecan and honey. So <laughs> I'm expecting kind of a sweet. A sweet yeah. yeah. So, and, and the proof on it's 80, 80 proof. 40%. 40%? It's not bad, so. Oh. All right. It's got a nice uh, color to it. Doesn't say on here it's been aged or whatever. No. That's pretty cool, man. I like. I love the Outer Banks area. I haven't been in six or seven years. We've been dillying around in the Caribbean for a while. But... Oh my God, he's <laughs> killing me. <laughs> wow, that smells like freaking pecan pie, man. I'm picking up a lot of alcohol, but beyond that alcohol, it's sweet. But I don't get the pecan like you're talking about, you like a spice blow, pecan blow, pie. Blow the alcohol smell out. And then smell it. Still no? No. I get the sweetness. You know. I smell the pecan too. I just had pecan pie two days ago, man. I know okay. exactly what it's like. Exactly. That's what I smell. <laughs> I'm the authority on the pecan pie. Um, I definitely smell it's going to be sweet, but I don't get the pecan right off. But, you know, pecan pie is mostly a spice. And then yeah. you have your pecans on top. Which I love pecan pie, but I don't. I'm not quite smell it. A lot of alcohol. A lot of alcohol. It's hot. It is very hot. Um. <laughs> uh, I do get a little bit of nutty flavor. The nutty, yes. But the the sweetness is not there. And I think that's because of the alcohol. I think right. that the alcohol has kind of pushed it over where the, the honey can't really come through it. It's not, the, the honey's not strong enough to come through. Right. I do taste the nutty flavor there, for yeah, sure. Yeah, definitely the nutty flavor is there. And when I say nutty, pecan has its own unique flavor. And I'm not getting the pecan flavor yet. 
but it is a nutty flavor. I mean, it may have a little bit of a hint of pecan, but not like I was expecting. I think uh, some ice is going to do us right. I think so. We're going to get rid of that alcohol. Because um, I want to taste this pecan. Now, normally, I would have a little bit left, and Matt drinks all his, but we swapped up this time. <laughs> Can I interest you in some more? I'll take a smidge. Smidge. Which is not quite as much as a buttload. All right. Did you taste any uh, barrel fruit there, any uh, char or oak? I didn't. I didn't either. It was just alcohol and then, uh, like, the nutty... A hint of nutty it something. tastes a whole lot but alcohol. There's a lot. I mean, of it alcohol. was just really hot. And I'm sure if it was aged, they would put it aged in oak barrels on the on the label somewhere. Well, I mean, they're, they are talking about barrels of rum. In in those days, barrels yeah. washed ashore. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, you could you might could try to reach though. Like they're bringing back the tradition. I don't know. I mean, it might be aged. It might. It's got some color to it, so I mean, it could be aged and maybe not charred. Kill devils, when you see this, let us know what's up. Is it yeah. barrel aged or not? That's right. A little clarification, please. Just a little. But it's got a good color to it, you know. It really does. It looks like it may have been a. It's got an amber, and and we use that word amber a lot, but this is like a reddish tone almost. Not yeah. not a. Not a brown, but a, a red, almost. Yeah. Kind of reminds me of Rebel Yell. Yeah. A little bit, yeah. Maybe it's a little darker than Rebel Yell, but still. It's, uh... Which is not a rum at all, so... No. <laughs> so like, here's a Rebel Reserve. Yeah, it's about the same color. See where the very, light very, is very, coming through? Very, very, close. Very close, yeah. So... All right. Get done bringing some bottles, we'll smell it. That's right. We already smelled it. <laughs> Oh, no, we... Uh, wow. The alcohol's gone. It's like a very yeah. minute a bit and of alcohol. I still smell the pecan pie smell. To me, it's pecan pie. I don't... I can see the sweetness of the honey, but, man, that molasses comes through. Yeah. Like, I can smell the molasses more than I can any honey. I can smell more of the pecan nuttiness now. Definitely. Not the, the spice of pecan, but the... The nutty flavor. Yeah, that's, and that's that's sort of what I smell like. You know, and the only other pecan whiskey I've seen is um, Old Smoky has a pecan whiskey, and I've not tried it, but I've seen that. So pecan's kind of odd, and I think it's something it's it should be. It's, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. different, but I think yeah. Well, let's just see how it tastes, and then we'll go from there. We'll see if there's something that needs to be out there. That's right. No alcohol at all. Nope. So I'm getting some what you kind of would fill off with some fruitiness, like yeah. like um, almost like a I don't know what that is. It's not apricot. It's like, it's, it's it's like a wine type red something, wine. Yeah. yeah, which would be grape or whatever, but it's not quite grape. But yeah, there's a fruity tone to it. I still get a little bit of the nutty flavor, but not nearly as much. More yeah. fruity now that it's yeah. water, that it's got the water to it, the yeah. ice in it. I want to say this almost reminds me kind of of a rye whiskey, but there's no pepper on the back end. It's just yeah. a smooth fruit. Yeah, I agree. Which might be that honey kicking in. Maybe. But it's not real sweet, though. It's not a sweet honey. No. It's like a molasses. It really yeah, is. Yeah, it's kind of a bitterness with a fruit undertone. That's really odd. It's good, though. It's definitely not a spice drum. No. Oh. When you taste a gold drum that's just been aged in a barrel, it kind of has a lot of that characteristics, but it has a little extra with that pecan and the honey in it. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, yeah, I like it. It's definitely different. Um, it's something that you can drink, you know, no problem. There's no alcohol burn to it whatsoever once mm -hmm. you ice it down. Now, without the ice, that's another story. Yeah, it's a little hot without it. Yeah. But, yeah, that's... Huh. It, 
kind of reminds me of uh, South Mountain's rum a little bit. It is similar to that. Yeah. Um, it's the same kind of bottle, too. That's <laughs> true. But it is similar to it. And then there's with sugar instead of molasses. So, I don't know. What do you think here, Matt? I like it. Um, if you're in North Carolina, get to the ABC store and pick up a bottle. Try it. Let us know what you think. And where did you get this? I got this. Actually, I got this in um, Mooresville because Catawba County, it did not show up on Catawba County's ABC board's list. Mm. So, I went ahead and picked it up in Iredell County. Um, and that's a long ways away from the distillery. I mean, it's hard for these guys because each store has their own individual stuff. And it, we have a terrible state for ABC stores. But um, if you can find this out there, try it. It's definitely worth a try. You, you're going to love it or you're going to hate it. It's going to be one or the other. Yeah. There's not going to be a lot of middle ground with this particular bottle. Right. And and I like it because it's different. It is. Um, I don't feel like there's a whole lot of flavor as compared to a spiced rum. I you have a lot of spice flavor in it. But the flavors that are there is very smooth, very minute, and and go down great. Exactly. Yeah. So it's a very smooth drinking liquor. I would drink it straight. I don't know what you'd mix it with. Maybe Coke. Maybe. But I mean, I don't think I mean I think it's good I think it would lend good to about anything, to be honest. Just because yeah. the, the, the flavors aren't like too in your face. Right. So it would go well with anything that you would normally mix with. Maybe so. even squirt at you know, who knows? <laughs> no. No. Quit telling people that. Don't freaking ever use squirt. It yeah. is grapefruit. It is not good. It's terrible. It is not a good mixture. Quit <laughs> telling people that. But it's a good drink. No. Um, it's not. <laughs> Kill Devil. It's pretty good. Um, they got any other flavors that you know of? I don't really remember if we had any other ones available. It seemed like there might have been one other flavor available in Iredell County. But I'm not sure what it was. I don't. It may have been a regular, like a like a plain rum. I'm not sure. I haven't done any research. Being a North Carolina distillery, up here in the mountains, we make moonshine, and down on the coast, they make rum. Yeah. So I wouldn't expect them to have their own moonshine or something like that. You would think it'd be just a white rum, a spiced rum. Oh, that is. So they have they have a white rum, and that was yeah. what they had beside of it. So okay. there was a white rum, no flavor. Just a plain basic rum. Molasses yeah. distilled. And if you ask me, all day long. Uh, spiced or flavored rum over the white rum any yeah. day of the week. It's just, you know. All right, uh, price point? <laughs> I don't remember. I mean, I don't think any bottle I bought was more than 20 or $25. Okay. So I, I think it probably was closer to 25 So at $25, it's well worth a try. Yeah. Definitely worth a try. So uh, uh, if you've had this, let us know in the comments what you think. Get out there and try some. Uh, anything to add? Nope. Support your local distilleries. You got that right. Get out there and see these guys at Kill Devils. All right. Thanks for joining us on this episode of Hatchets Hooch. Check out Kill Devil, and we'll see you next time.